All right, guys, so welcome to the importance of the bouncing ball. Why is it important? So again, I'm going to refer to this, uh, to the hips. That's the main thing. On the lessons coming, you've got the wrist, nose, ankles, but the hip is the most important. And if you look at my fundamentals course on Skillshare, it goes into more detail. But this is more of an introductory. Why? Why is important? For example, I've done an animation here of the bouncing ball. Okay, now when we're students, what happens is a lot of the times we we can fall victim to moving the hips a lot and not figuring out why our animation isn't smooth, why it isn't working. This is the center of gravity, the hips. Everything drives from there. So for example, if I, so on, what I'm going to do, it's going to copy this animation over to the hips. So I'm going to select the hips of the character, set a keyframe, Y translation, just paste. Okay, so the same animation will be up there, right? Now what I'll do, because it's in the air, just come in here, break the tangents. I'm just going to move everything down so it starts at the same level as the ball. So it's just easier to explain. Okay, so as you can see, when the hips are smooth and they're moving smoothly, Everything is moving smoothly. Now, in student days, what I used to do, I used to put a keyframe here. Oh, and a keyframe there. Oh, let's make it go higher there. And I just used to have like all these keyframes, right? And uh, you can see how if the hips, this example is just to show if the hips are not organically moving in nice curves, it affects everything. It's affecting the torso, middle torso, upper, the head. Even though you've got animation on that, like I could have nice animation on the head. So I could just have a keyframe here, a keyframe there, and then a keyframe back, right? But it's moving up and down, but the whole arc is like shifting, right? Like the head is moving forward, then back. Even though it's a smooth animation going up and down, it's still, because the hips are messed up, it's affecting everything. So what I just do, what I normally do, I just delete all these extra keys so you can see all the keys are there that are making it all jaggedy so if I delete that you see the head stays in the same place everything's smooth and nothing above the hips is being affected so that's the main one of the main things that we need to kind of grasp as early as possible for your animations to start looking good and the other thing could be like if you look at the trail, like if you go to edit mo motion trail, you see it's exactly going up and down, right? And now what I could do is I could put a keyframe. I could make it go up there. And then when it comes down, it goes that way. Just make it start forward. So you so you just got that nice arcs. See, that's what we're looking for when we're moving the hips around, even going forward. So we could we could be going forward. Same thing. We select the hips. Again, I'll just delete the animation that we just had. So you got smooth arc, and it can be exactly the same when uh, I'll just mute this. Sure, we can mute, mute selected. Yeah, okay. So, say, like, for example, you might be doing a walk. So, if I just delete these animations, so you could be doing a walk going forward, right? Get rid of this animation too. So, from here to here, we want the character to go forward. Okay, so it's moving forward, and then there's an up. Obviously in a walk, there's a high point, then there's a low point, then there's a high point, and there's, a, there's even a higher point, right? But anyway, that's just like a trajectory we're going for. And then it goes back down. So you've got a bit of a walk motion there. Now if you create edible motion trail, you can see right here, we could have this a bit forward. And then a bit down and we could have this a bit back and then maybe that a bit forward and then down 
So you're getting that arc, nice arc. That's the whole point of the bouncing ball uh, related to the hips. Now, the other thing we'll be talking about later on is seeing the hips of the bouncing ball. In CG, basically, I'll explain in more detail, but these dots that you're seeing, they are the bouncing ball. In the old days, they would literally just put the bouncing ball here and they would lit they would just trap the ball trap the ball trap the ball trap the ball but really and i'll explain in the other video the ball is the point that point is very crucial this one you can move it up and down here how you want as well you can edit so if we come back here you can edit the curve and it'll move it's a very powerful tool that you can use there's other advanced ones on the net that you can check out too but the actual bouncing ball is that dot. Now that this dot, you want to make sure it's creating smooth arcs. If, they, if, if they're too close sometimes, that can happen, you see. And, you know, depending on the animation, you might want that. But the general gist of this lesson is, this is how you relate the ball to the hips, as the bouncing ball to the hips. These dots are representing the bouncing ball. That's all you need to take from this. And... Try and grasp that concept and also it's not just in that axis you know in the top axis when you walk your weight shift comes here then your weight shift stays like that then it comes back and then your weight shift goes the other way right so if i can get the like that yeah so that so you're also looking at the top view of the trajectory as well as well as the side view as well as the side view here, right? So that's the, that's the main essence of this lesson you want to take, the bouncing the hips of the bouncing ball. And then when you start animating stuff from the top, it won't, it won't really get affected as much. So if I just do a quick keyframe like this, going back, you will see that because the hips are smooth, everything else you can start offsetting and breaking down as you're doing the animation, which will go more into the fundamentals course on Skillshare, which you can check out as well. But that's the main thing with the hips. You want to really make sure the the hips, the, those points are representing the bouncing ball and you're tracking it, making you're conscious of it. Again, here, for example, this is a pose. That point 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 is a pose. You're posing your character out. At the same time, you're checking to make sure you're conscious of the trajectory of which way the character is going forward sideways up you want to make sure you're blocking that that's all smooth because when it, when it comes to refining later it's much more easier than and your body will, your character will be in balance you have to you're checking everything with poses you know you're getting all the good poses in and at the same time you're making sure you're conscious of the hips is it moving smoothly is the arc nice is the weight in the right place which way is the character balanced you know left or right leg these body mechanics are all things that you're thinking of. Slowly, slowly, when you keep doing the animation, this will become second nature. Is the pose readable? Is the silhouette good? Is it posed correctly? Like we said, is the weight on the right side of the body? Is the balance right between the center line? All these things will start coming into effect when you study more in animation. When you go through, you can go through my fundamentals course and all the other courses I've got on Skillshare. They share the same thing. All right, guys. So that's the bouncing ball. In a nutshell, how it's related to the hips. Remember, those points are representing the bouncing ball. I'll see you in the next lesson.